Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another animatronic eye, this time just a single eye, 46 millimeter, so it's a little bit larger than the last one I did. And uh, it will be four servos, four micro servos. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've just taken everything off the printer and this is an older project of mine. I made this eye for another character, but I thought it'd be interesting to see. It's a single eye, single E-bar, and it's 46 millimeters. It's a little bit larger than the last one that I made. So makes it a little bit more versatile. You can separate the eyes, you can have them on stocks. You could um, put one above the other, one in the center of the forehead, whatever you wanted. So let me just go through the parts here really fast. Here is the E-bar for that, for this eye. And it's, it's, made for ser it's made for four servos. So two to control the blink mechanism and then two to move the eye left and right and up and down. And I made an eyeball, a little bit different color filament. I'm gonna paint this white. I'm gonna, we have to finish it and sand it and put uh, an iris on the end there. I have the buck, same thing. I gotta sand this thing. And this is what I'm gonna use to make the clear plastic dome that's gonna go over the eye and you know help it look a little bit more real. And then I have the eyelids for this character. My servo in this case is going to be the HS85BB. This is a, a high-tech servo. It's a servo I have. It's a micro servo. This design will work with any micro servo. This one, this servo might be a little bit overkill for this one because this one's 3.5 kilograms so of torque. So that might be a little bit of overkill for what we're doing here, but you can use any micro servo that you like. And, uh, but I'm gonna use those cause that's what I have. All right, let's jump into the build. Okay, as we talked about before, many of the builds, when you 3D print an object, you need to sand it, finish it. There's a seam line in this piece here. So this thing's gonna get you know sanded down quite significantly. Same with this. This is gonna be the eyeball of it. And you can see that there's a small cupped structure inside of here that's gonna go right over this ball. And it's gonna allow the eyelid or the eyeball to move in any direction. On the inside of it, I have ways to connect wire. And basically what the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna mount the servos to this, and then I'm gonna have the eyelids direct via direct linkage, and I'm gonna use a small bit of cable and a small bit of housing to control the actual eyeball movement. So let's get to the sanding part. sanded everything. Um, the outsides weren't so important as much as the insides were important on the eyelids. Basically took this and sanded it and then waxed it so that it's nice and smooth. I'm ready to do the vacuform on top of that. And on this, I'm ready to start installing the servos. going to tap through the actual arms here that will, so I want the screw, the 256 screw, to be solid right into that. This, these particular arms could sink a metal insert, but I don't think it's necessary. This is a 332nd drill bit, and I'm gonna open up these holes so that they can freely move around a 256 screw. The ball link will be threaded right into the hole. So 
So those guys move freely. This servo will be connected right here to move that eyelid. And this servo will move this eyelid. Standard easy connector. This is a little teeny tiny baby easy connector. And I'm going to use a couple of different things here. I'm going to use some cable and housing for part of them. I'm going to use a threaded rod for another one. So let's first make sure that the easy connector can go through and fit onto the servo horn. now painted the eye. I sanded it. I painted it with filler primer to help smooth it out a little bit, sanded it a little bit more, and then I spray painted it white. And this is just a semi-gloss white that I used. I made the vacuum form a piece that we have to cut out, and I have a printed iris here that I'm going to use uh, for that center part. So you'll notice you can still see faintly some layer lines on where the iris is going to go, but it's going to get covered up by that picture right there. I will also probably still paint this a little bit, a little bit further. So we're going to do that in a moment. The eye mechanic is still in the same position, but I'm going to set that aside for now because it's not something we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be dealing with these things first. Before I do anything else, I'm going to actually take off just the eyelids by removing these screws here. I'm just going to pull them back. They don't have to come out. So now we have access to our two cables there. So I'm going to just bend them so they go through this hole and are, you know, make just a small uh, bend, and that's what's going to keep it uh, held within there. So I'm just going to use a pair of needle nose pliers. And I'm going to bend each one of these cables. And I want one like this. would like one. So I'm putting in, if you can see that. And then I'm going to bend it back. So the bend is going to look like this. Hopefully we can see that on camera. And I am going to slip into that hole and do that. We're going to do the same thing now with the second cable. And we're going to bend it down first like this. So bend one. Hopefully those wires will stay together. My second bend will be in the exact same direction. Yeah. So you can see now we have this and then I'm going to bend it back. So 
So it's just like this, a little square shape, if anything. And push it back through. And this one, stay in shape. Go in that hole. And bend just like that. So you can see how those two function. And I'm just going to now pull the cables, pull the eye into place. And now when I push and pull on the cable, push and pull on the cable, you see that? It's lovely. Now, I'm not going to tighten, I won't tighten these yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the eyelids back into place here. As I reattach the eyelids, let me just explain that I hooked up the servos to a maestro and did a quick animation sequence so that we could see it move. Hopefully you enjoyed this project and I will see you in the next one.